Hello engineers, today we'll be comparing RuCode, which is an open source fork of Klein. It works in Visual Studio Code as an extension. We are going to be comparing it to Kesa, which is arguably the most intelligent IDE out there. If we look at its pricing, we'll see that the Pro version, which is also limited, is $20 a month. The work item for today will be to create an MCP server for Azure Pipelines. LOL. Don't worry, you're on the right channel. I'm just mixing it up a bit for the memes. Subscribe to Marvy Joe's channel as well. <laughs> Code King. Anyway, let's continue. So basically, if a human being would do it, they'd go to Azure DevOps, dev.azure.com, then log in. After logging in, here go to pipelines select your pipeline you can um, click on the three dots run pipeline or click on your pipeline directly and say run pipeline then after running the pipeline it'll deploy my application and i can go to microsoft azure and view my application so literally we just wanted to trigger a pipeline run Okay, let's just verify that our prompt looks good. Integration tests looks good. Okay, client rules, just to make sure that it has a memory bank. It looks good. Copy the prompt. Check our entropic balance because Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is extremely expensive. For architect, we're going to use O3 Mini High. For our coder, we're going to use Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. It's a bit, it's a bit expensive with Cloud, but we want the best of root code. Let's give you the prompt. By the way, we set up the Brave Search MCP server and the Puppet and the Puppet and the Puppeteer MCP server. If you thought that's a tongue twister, try writing it when you're sober. To extract information from the internet so one searches the internet like google does and one scrapes from the internet cool go so o3 mini is thinking one thing i noticed about o3 mini high is that it takes a lot of time thinking and since it doesn't expose its thoughts um you might have to wait quite a bit and that's something that's definitely not cool Okay, it needs us to clarify some things. Should the DevOps project details be specified as a single environment variable, uh, split into separate variables? Do you have a preferred testing framework? Go. Yeah, this is one of the reasons I don't use O3 Mini that much because we don't see the thinking tokens. Here's the plan for the MCP. That's good. Are you pleased with this plan or would you like me to make any adjustment? looks good proceed i like this architect mode keeps me in the loop let's see what he's writing here we'll build a node.js mcp authentication personal access token that's good ru wants to switch to code i said it must auto switch to code now it's obeying my memory bank it's creating the files this is good documentation. This memory bank just works, eh? Okay, creating the package.json file. Uh, what's that? Overloaded. Okay, that must be anthropic. Import MCP packages. Now it's creating some integration tests. It already exceeded one dollar here. So yeah, with Rucode, obviously you'll have to monitor your costs. Over 900,000 tokens used, but most of them are cached. So yeah, that saved us a lot of money. Now over a million tokens used. It's updating the progress. Planning phase, testing 100% as well. Oh, that's a nice update. Now it's updating the active context. Let's look at the instructions that it gives us. 
two tools yes and it also authentication with azure devops using a personal access token npm install okay we get an error no machine version for that i guess we can use latest eh? okay 11 failed and four passed okay it's making some modifications to the just config file it's getting expensive i'm going to cut it short let me cancel it a bit let's just test whether the mcp server will actually work we have to create an a dot env file so if you go to user settings personal access tokens we just need to create one create and execute this is what we're looking for actually here just this but really include um the release pipelines as well let's create the token save it okay the environment variables are set let's start it Azure DevOps token, I said this. I think it forgot code to load the .env file. We just had to use case a little bit there. But remember guys, it's always wise to make small changes yourself instead of calling the LLM or pasting errors. If you see that it's a missing import or something simple like this to save on your tokens. Because it'll send the entire context just for adding support for a .env file. Server is running. We're actually going to use Roo for this. Go to our MCP servers. Edit the settings. So we just need a path to our index.js file. Okay, so I'll just add this for us. Save. If we go to our MCP servers, always allow listing of pipelines. And to test it, we're not going to use Cloud. We're going to use something cheaper, Gemini 2 Flash. List all of my Azure pipelines. Yes, it's running. There we go. It listed my pipelines. I just needed to show here my pipelines, which is correct. So let me ask it to execute the React.js pipeline. Execute the React js pipeline okay it says it successfully triggered it you can view the run there if we go there <laughs> this is the run this is this is perfect now i don't have to come to devops anymore okay that was the experience with through code let's try this with now let's open casa we're going to make sure that they use the same rules or oh, it doesn't want us to paste it assumes we want to use a file go do what Ah, that's weird from Kesa, eh? Wants to make the directory cool. It's following the memory bank rules. I set it to YOLO as well. to run tests 
okay they're also failing it's interesting that it has around the same number of tests as full code which had 20 this one has 21 let's see if kesa will be able to fix the unit and integration tests run the test there's still some failing tests I'm really surprised that they kept it at $20 for so long. Let's resume the conversation here. $20 for this value is just, is just crazy to be honest. Connected? No, it's not connected. Why is it saying it's connected? Okay, let me stop this and set the ENV variables. To connect to the MCP server. It actually called the health endpoint. Let's save. It's retrying. And it failed again. Nevertheless, let's test it in root code. nothing is happening now there we go for this one root code obviously won even though it's more expensive although with that said yes i didn't deliver any value here 